треском раздвигаю кукурузу лет. Смотрю вперед и вижу. Все та же кукуруза. Желтый знак и свет. Verde que te quiero verde, verde viento, verde ramas, el barco sobre la mar y el caballo en la montaña. Con la sombra en la cintura, ella sueña en su baranda, verde carne, de pelo verde, con ojos de fría plata. Verde que te quiero verde, bajo la luna gitana, las cosas le están mirando y ella no puede mirarla. Verde que te quiero verde. Grandes estrellas de escarcha vienen con el pez de sombra que abre el camino del alma. La higuera frota su viento con la lija de sus ramas y el monte, gato garduño, eriza sus pitas agrias. ¿Pero quién vendrá? ¿Y por dónde? Ella sigue en su baranda, verde <coughs> carne, pelo verde, soñando en la mar amarga. Uh, dos cuerpos. Por Octavio Paz. Dos cuerpos frente a frente son a veces dos horas y la noche es océano. Dos cuerpos frente a frente son a veces dos piedras y la noche es desierto. Dos cuerpos frente a frente son a veces raíces en la noche enlazadas. Dos cuerpos frente a frente son a veces navajas y la noche relaja. Dos cuerpos, frente a frente, son dos astros que caen en un cielo vacío. Slavo Pol. Slavo Pol, por mi lado, es un poco más extraño en el movimiento. Me ha pasado un día que 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 me ha pasado un día что сияет не сила их не как у мужчин в могучем мужском тоге, в характере, в нежных чувствах и прекрасной фигуре. А, история человечества способна любому это доказать. Множество различных примеров она может показать того, какую женщина играла в ней крайне важную роль. Столько выдерживала она все поражения, горе и боль. Очарование. Вот женщин главное преимущество. Это их слабость, в то же время и все их могущество. Для любой дамы ее привлекательность очень важна, так как с помощью нее любого мужчины покорит она. Ну а теперь я расскажу немного про женские чувства. Это бога шедевр, это венец его духовного искусства. Ведь когда нежная леди влюбленно в твои глаза глядит, и груди словно пламя полыхает, и сердце будто горит. В характере женевых дам стоящая загадка таится, и каждая из них своей таинственностью очень гордится. Мужчина над этой загадкой всю жизнь голову ломает. Но характер для ней предсказуем. Я не это понимаю. Так что я полагаю, женщины и полу отнюдь не слабые. Могут блеснуть они и силой, и стойкостью, и отвагой. И все представители этого пола достойны восхищения. За то, что они дарят мужчинам радость и вдохновение. Take it with the longest given eye. It's so desirable. And you smile. 
Let me take you to the ocean that is constantly in motion. <laughs> Enjoy its vast, one of a kind. It's so rich and deep as your mind. Let me take you to the mountains, to the geysers, to the fountains. It is there in rock and stone I have made for you a throne. Let me give you the whole world in a package wrapped in gold that is made of care and love and delivered by a dove. Yiddish <laughs> from German and has bits of Romanian, Ukrainian, Russian, Hebrew, Aramaic in it. So this first is a is a poem written for the city of Vilnius, Lithuania, or Vilna, which was at times a Polish city, at times a Jewish city, at times a, now it's a Lithuanian city. And this is uh, by Moshe Kulbach. Um, and I'll just translate my favorite line from the poem, which says, uh, this poem is, is primarily about the um, poverty, sort of a snapshot of, of, of the, the Jewish ghetto in, or the Jewish quarter in Vilna and the, the poverty therein, but, but still something, describing it beautifully. But this line especially, your Jews around a silver herring deep uh, late at night hitting themselves in prayer, saying, God, we have sinned, we have sinned. What a strange image. So I hope you enjoy the sounds of the Jewish language. Du bist der Tillum Euskelet von Leimen Eisen und deine Euskis Wogeln, Blonschen, aufgekrochen. Eden steifte wie die Hälse, weiter wie die Leblich Breut. Kalte, säubistige Bär, die Plätzes Euskehammer. Und Eugen wachen die Gelange wie die Schifflich nach Hause. Jeden Deine bei silberlichen Herren spät bei Nacht schlagen sich alche, o Gott, mir sindeke, mir sindeke. Und die Lebonne, der Woi a Weißoi, der durch die Scheiblich floss. Dort silbern sich schmackes, angehangen Idelste. Die Kinder in die Betten jelle, glitschig dicke Bett. Und morgen halb schon ausgetan, mit Leiber wie die Blätter. Smolle wie die Gassen seien in deine Chmur liegen. Stumme Sterns wie die breite, glitschig dicke Welt von Schulwey. Und brennen Mochike wie die Dächer über deine Churbis. Du bist der Tillem ohne geschriebene Archipelge. Und wir wollen singen von dir beim Schein von der Lobonne. Never mind. <lacht> Will du plasme ihr Wolle, gelb mesumen auf der Zunge, und der Peuker peuk den Baum, ein dies Hoge, ein dies Kram. Patsch die Schmissen, die Zinsare ist nicht gebissen, Sonne brennt mich umgebrochen, mit kein Wind und mit kein Schotten. Sad gelegen, sad gerasse, der Lacke schaut auf dich die Fasse, er hat Bremse schaffen auf, und mich die Blicken heugen im Gold. Nicht kein Schaffen, nicht kein Bremse, und kein Korne Farb in Minze, Thank you. 
the changing moods of a person, like one woman can be very bad and she feels sad and another so so happy and it, it's changing all the time and that's why it's secret because you cannot change anything, but just the way it moves. And uh, her writing is uh, quite from the, um, quite, uh, he died quite long time ago, but he was very young, he died 23 years old and he has a huge influence in Ukrainian uh, literature and the it's, it's even as much written as he writes for the Picasso and on the Philly Bessis, and the Genedo Com, a Pino Pedrus, the Belgis, Russia Citadel, and the Chanish Pukut of the Soviet Jadina, the Gestus Negra, the Lidna, Otoni, Grimpers, and the Summer, because Robert Algirani was the one. So many weary, so many skin, so many tall, one people. An academic chair in the People's Republic of China. I got to go help reopen university systems all over China. And while I was there, I looked around at things. First, China was one of the dullest places in the world. No color, not a single television set in any private hands. People did not, women did not wear dresses. Everyone wore a Mao suit, and there were only three colors of cloth in the whole country. Huh. Dark blue, khaki, and uh, gray, and that was it. And of course, everyone had very black hair. So often it was very hard to distinguish someone from someone else. <coughs> As I watched things happening, I started writing. <coughs> I was working with a translator to do some international work, but I ended up uh, writing a book called Love Blooms Under the Black Umbrellas. <laughs> what do young couples do when they're both wearing mouse suits and there's no place to go. Well, outside of the warlord's villa where I was living, there was a little lake, Banyan Lake. This is called couples. I didn't bring the Chinese, so I'll only do the English. <laughs> the rim of Banyan Lake, evening. <clears throat> An iron fence holds back the misdirected. Two bicycles, here and there, Leaning, unwatched, wait together. Red flames brighten and dim. Small dots of energy come alive and die out. Smoke, outlines of light. Quiet words muffled in shadow. Sometimes soft sounds of struggle. The morning will find evidence. Bent grass, smooth spaces where bodies have met in cautious first touching. Bamboo groves provide the first shelter. What happens here is 
there was a little bit of grass just behind the fence, and the water started. The young man would be smoking a cigarette. It would be dark. You couldn't see them. When he took a puff, the red light would come on. And supposedly, the red light has to do with the couples as well. All over China, there are dust bins or little garbage holders. Sometimes, they're animals with big mouths. So that's where you throw things. This is called the dustbin woman. An old woman irons candy wrappers and carefully opens and separates layers of cigarette packages. Different stacks grow taller. Tangerine rinds are lined up, waiting places, and litter is brushed aside. The usable is swirled out of the dustbins and spread out for inspection. It is morning in South China. An old woman with a face tanned by an uncountable number of summers shuffles off, her loot safe in two swaying baskets. They will be full before daybreak. When the sun comes, she will have lived another whole morning. She will iron most of the day. It may be the same tomorrow. It has been the same before. I see your lips, the summer kisses, the sunburned hands I used to hold. Oh, since she went away, the days grew long, and soon I'll hear all the song but I miss you most of all my darling when autumn leaves start to fall under my skin I've got you deep in the heart of me, so deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I tried so not to give in. I said to myself, this affair never will go so well. But why should I try to resist when, baby, I know that well that I've got you under my skin? I'd sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near, in spite of the warning voice that comes in the night and repeats, repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool? You never can win. Oh, use your mentality. Wake up, wake up to reality. Oh, by the time that I do, just the thought of you makes me stop just before I begin. Cause I've got you under my skin. <laughs> Det bästa målet är nattgång, rastar, eld och tänd, bröd, frit och kallt. På ställen där man sover blott en gång blir sömnen trygg och drömmen för att sova. Byt upp, byt ut. Den nya dagen blir oändligt för stora äldre. Jag tror att jag har en fråga. 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 Jag har en fråga
And back then I, I wrote a lot of poems. Now I, I, I write like once a year, which makes it a stellar poem, of course. <laughs> but back then I would just write and I was not very proud of them because I thought this is just silly, you know, it's my stuff, nobody needs to read it. But later as I was growing up, I, I really started liking what I was writing when I was younger. And yeah, because it was for nobody. <laughs> Right now, you know, when people make songs sometimes, not everybody, but sometimes people do it for the sake of presenting, which is not a bad thing. But this kind of thing was not for the sake of reading to people, of presenting, of posting. It was just writing it down. So, and it's, it's a story that, <laughs> it's not my story, it's a story of a lot of kids. And this is, I'm gonna just read it in Romanian. And then I'll tell you what it is about. How many people understand Romanian? <laughs> One, two. <laughs> halfway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Okay. So this was a poem by an 18 year old or something like that? No. I'm not so old. <laughs> 16. <laughs> You're giving away all your secrets. <laughs> I don't care. This is the free trial. Okay. It's called, it's called Cutii de Carton. Carton, cutii și alte bunuri, de statura unui om mare sau mic sau nimic. Lume îmbuzeală, cutii peste cutii, ce traversează mări și continente. Și ce încap în ele? Sunt pline de dor. El izvorăște, curge, se revarsă printre crăpăturile fiecărui cub. Și cu cât mai mică e cutia, cu atât mai viu e zborul. Se împrăște dorul prin lume, curge necontinut din cutii de carton și umple Europa, se absoarbe în pământ și ajunge până la urmă ca orice gând de unde a pornit. Ajunge acasă. Ok. Wow. It's a really sad story. Wow. <laughs> It's really sad. But this is a story of a lot of kids who have their parents gone away, right? And all they get every week is this boxes, just boxes. Boxes right? and presents and with different kind of things, yeah. Yeah, presents. Um, Sometimes it's money. Money, games. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. It's really sad because in Moldova, actually, children cannot see their parents for years, years and years. Yeah, so I was one of those children. <laughs> and I just wrote this because that's what I was getting every week. And it means that, like, out of those boxes, it's, like, full of... Um, <laughs> Sadness. No. Mm -mm. Uh, when you're missing somebody, you know this feeling of no missing sense. somebody? Oh. Longing. Yeah. Longing. Feeling yeah. of longing. No. So that's it. <laughs> well. And you wrote that when you were 16? I, I think so. I didn't do the math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, maybe someone didn't heard. I will read the Russian version and the English version, and then oh, who didn't understand the Russian will understand the English. Obviously. But are you sure you don't want to move around? <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Maybe you can you move around. I know, <laughs> Tanya, you move around yeah. for him, and uh, you can. <coughs> what? You can stand here. Why? Because you're so expressive and um, in your movement. You, you're afraid I'm going to hit you. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> I move a bit aside. Uh, okay, okay. You're good. Right, we're ready. Okay, yeah, you're ready. <laughs> okay, uh, it's called uh, in Russian, it's Bagini. And here we go. Обворожительные, мудрые, добрые, прекрасные, неосердные, но в гневе своем очень опасные. У страниц мифов, статуи, картин богини глядят. В своем могуществе в простом смертном говорят. Богини властвуют над всеми явлениями природы. Поклоняются им вселению, когда и целые народы. Судьбами людей они непринужденно управляют. Чудесные миры богини весьма умело созидают. Согласно мифам, наш мир они тоже сотворили. Людей и разных животных давным-давно породили. Гея земля, Тиамат, Хосадем, Нинмах и Идзанами. Все сущее вокруг создано их нежными руками. Богини художников и скульпторов вдохновляют. И тем свои самые лучшие творения посвящают. Так и живут годами в умах и сердцах людей. Бессмертие богини обвели, благодаря нашей любви. 
Мечтаем о а, 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 а. Милые женщины, богини реальности повседневной, от лица всех мужчин скажу я вам откровенно, спасибо за то, что с нами вы миры семей создаете и жизнь новым поколениям с готовностью даете. The goddesses, enchanting, wise, kind, thoughtful, and beautiful, dangerous in the dress, but still recognizable. For them, in myths and paintings, you should seek. There, about their mighty powers, the goddesses speak. The goddesses create wonderful worlds, foundations. They are worshipped by small tribes and entire nations. Their will, all elements and natural phenomena obey. Our people's fates, the goddesses easily hold sway. Thanks to them, people, plants and animals now thrive. To our wonderful world, skillful goddesses give life. Heya, Hosedem, Minmach, Idzanami and Tiamat. Everything around you because of them came back. Poets, sculptors and painters the goddesses inspire. Devoting masterpieces to them, these people desire. In the corners of our hearts is hidden their vitality. By our love, the goddesses have obtained immortality. Dear woman, the goddesses of the real world, speaking for all men on the earth, I will make bold. Thank you for helping us worlds of families to create, and for new generations to shine, to sunshine, open up the gate. For strength that I might achieve, I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for help that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness that I might feel the need of God. I asked for all things that I might enjoy life. I was given life that I might enjoy all things. I got nothing that I asked for, but everything I hoped for. Almost despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered. I am among all men most richly blessed. So. <laughs>
I loved you I loved you. the ship song
time you come around Your face is falling sad now The time is night And I must remove your wings And you must turn to Cascade
Să-i dea pedeapsă 